Our features may be temporarily removed or suppressed instead of deleted. Suppressed features remain in the browser but are removed from the part's graphics display. Part file suppress.ipt is open. Suppress Fillet 4. Right click on the Fillet 4 browser icon and select Suppress Features from the context menu. Fillet 4 is removed from the model. Suppress the part features which occur after Work Plane 1. Select the three remaining part feature icons from the browser which occur after Work Plane 1. Right click and select Suppress Features. The features are removed from the model. The suppressed features may need to be removed for visibility or other reasons. Unsuppress one feature. Select a suppressed feature from the browser, right click and select Unsuppress Features. The feature is displayed in the model. Unsuppress multiple features. Select the remaining suppressed features, right click and select Unsuppress Features. The remaining features are displayed in the model. Use the end of part icon to suppress features. I need to add a part feature after extrusion 1, but before the rest of the part features. Select the browser's end of part icon, drag it up the tree and drop it after extrusion 1. All of the features after extrusion 1 are removed from the model. Create a 0.03 inch diameter through hole on the upper diagonal face. Select Hole from the Modify panel. Choose a linear placed hole. Center the hole along the Z axis and 0.06 inches down from the upper edge. You may drag the end of part icon down one feature at a time to discover how the part was constructed. Drag the end of part icon after the last item in the browser. Change a part design by using the end of part icon. Assume that the features created after hole 1 were a mistake and the design requires new features. Move the end of part icon after hole 1. Right click on the end of part icon and select Delete all features below end of part. All of the part features below the end of part icon are deleted. Create a conditional suppression. Activate part file suppress underscore 2.ipt. Display the parameters tab. Right click on a panel. Hover the cursor over the panels to display the flyout menu and add a check mark to Parameters. Select Parameters from the Added Parameters panel. User parameter length has been created. Model parameter D0 equals length. Select Done. Edit the base sketch. For this model, model parameter D0 defines the part's length. Finish the sketch. Suppress the rectangular cut if the length of the part is less than or equal to 40 millimeters. Select Extrusion 2 from the browser. Right click and select Properties. The Feature Properties dialog box is displayed. Add a check mark to If. Select Length from the Parameter drop down menu. Display the Logic Operator drop down menu. Select less than or equal to. Add 40 millimeters to the value field. Do not change the adaptivity of either sketch or parameters. Select OK. Select parameters. Change the length to 40 millimeters. Select done. The cut is suppressed. Select parameters. Change the length to 41 millimeters. The cut is displayed. This completes the lesson. Do not save the file.